Hello everyone, my name is Brent. I'm here with my daughter Madeline. Madeline, can you say hello? Bonjour. Bonjour, yes, we're so grateful to meet you. We are missionaries to Belgium. I attended Seattle Christian back in the day, and in fact, some of my very first missions trips were with Seattle Christian, and it was such a great place to deepen my education, my relationship with Jesus, and to get to go and experience ministry firsthand in some really cool places around the world. But before we jump in, let me show you a picture of my family. This is us. That's my wife, Bria, my daughters, Adelaide, my son, Oliver, Owen, and then Madeline, who's that cute little girl in the middle there? Me. That's you, Madeline. And like we said, we're going to Brussels, Belgium. It's a, it's a country in Western Europe at a place where you may not think missionaries are needed, and yet just over 1% of the people in Belgium identify as evangelical Christians. It's similar for other countries in Western Europe, such as France. And in fact, if you factor in the whole of the continent together, just 3% of the people there identify as evangelical Christians. Europe's also home to 25% of the world's refugees. And there are so many immigrants from places all around the world who have never heard about Jesus before. Madeline, is this a problem? Yes. Yes, are we gonna help? Here's what we're gonna do. We are going to Continental Theological Seminary, and I'll be serving as a ministry professor there, training up leaders and church planters to go tell people about Jesus all throughout Europe and even Northern Africa. It's one of the primary training hubs for church planters, at least within our network of churches, throughout all of Europe. It's a great place to go and to get prepared for ministry. In fact, if you want to find out more about what we're doing and how you can pray for us, you can always go to colbycommission.org and do just that that. You know, one thing that I'm always reminded of is a Bible verse from Matthew chapter 9. Madeline, do you want to repeat it after me? Okay, say, the harvest is plentiful, the harvest is plentiful but the workers are few. The workers are few. Ask the Lord of the harvest, Ask the Lord of the harvest. Therefore, therefore, to send out workers into the field. To send out workers for the field. You know, in this passage, it says that Jesus looked out and saw all the people who were desperate and he had compassion on them. He cared about them and God deeply cares about all the peoples um, of the earth. And if we can go to a place where the gospel is desperately needed to be preached, we can make a difference. And my family is responding to that call. Um, we're in the States right now, completing some training and raising funds, but in a few months, we will be selling the rest of our stuff loading up a few tubs and will we be getting on a bus madeline yes no will we be getting on a boat no what are we gonna fly on an airplane an airplane and go to belgium and train people to teach people all about jesus so hey thank you guys for hearing us out we're so excited that you guys are part of this journey and learning about the mission of god and about the heart of god for peoples all around the world madeline could you say goodbye Au revoir.